Hey man, say man, welcome back to another episode of Scrooston Media TV, man. We here live, man, with two legends, man, that put it down for the city, man. You know, we got Jado and we got Young Red, man. Y'all know who Young Red is, man, and Jado, man. Y'all done heard him before, man. How y'all doing? Shit, we good, good, man. We in here, man. Man, yeah. man, man. Look, how y'all 2021 been going, man? You know, the pandemic, you know, slowed a lot of things down last year, man. How y'all 2021? Well, I mean, hey, you know me, man. Like, you know, I'm working on my first complete year, you know, actually being, you know, the, uh, when, as far as this 2021 to be my first whole year, I actually did being free, you know, after 13 years. I was to be a year I've been out, but, you know, so I haven't even been out a whole year yet. But right now it's a blessing just to be able to just, you know, go January to December right. like, free, you know what I'm saying? If that's God's plan. But, mm -hmm. uh, that's what it's been for me. Like, I've I, I been through the worst of situations. So my, my, some of my worst days, some of your worst days free, would would have been a good day for me locked up, so true you know, that, true that. it's a blessing, man. Yeah, man. Tell you like twenty twenty one, man. Like it's business as usual, man. It's just another number to me, man. Like I say, long as I'm here, it's another gift for me. Just waking up, being able to get to the money, a whole just a whole another day. Um, it's always uh, you know time to improve and, and get right. So we really just been working on music and branding the clothes, the future rich merch, and uh, really that's it. Yeah, that's it, man. Same thing, different day. Nah, real yeah. talk. Real talk, man. Uh, of course, you know what I'm saying? I know who y'all is, you know what I'm saying? I'm big fans, man. I grew up on y'all music, man. Yeah. Big fan, man. Uh, but for the ones that don't know, you know, the younger guys, man, let's let's start off from the beginning, man. Uh, let's let everybody know where y'all from and now let in the city. Well, you know what it is, uh, Young Red, you know, Future Rich All Day, Sunnyside, Texas, you know what I'm saying? Uh, switch out to gang, slow live by all that shit, so... I got a long history, man. Just do your homework, get familiar. If you want to be part of Houston culture, you got to know the origins and where, where it started, where it's going. Yeah, like, because if he did his resume, we'd be here yeah, all, all day. day. Well, all me, you day. know, uh, I'm, I'm going to give him, because mine will get long too, you know, just long story short, you know, I'm born in Sealy, you know, uh, my brother and them from out here in the, in the city, D. Drew, R.I.P. You know what I'm saying? We do it for Drew and D. Drew and DJ Screw every time. So long speed up time. I just so happened to be blessed with a family that day one, week one was Screw. You know what I'm saying? My little brother was who he was and we just made it. But I went to the West, grew up on the West, uh, linked up with Trey. Me and Trey really, Trey really family, you know, through Dinky, all that, even before the music. So it was a small world thing. I go by, he, they was already doing Slab. I came mm -hmm. home Slab Volume 4. They was doing Volume 4. The actual one where it wasn't no songs, just all rapping. Mm -hmm. I went by to pick Mike D up from the SUC. I went to pick Mike D up from Trey Apartment or Airport, and the rest was history. I jumped down with Slab, then, you know, the ABN thing and all. It was it was what it was. That's how that took off, long story short. Okay, um, to speak on uh, the relationship you said your brother had with DJ Screw, how was that, you know, like, to see DJ Screw, you know, Really, uh, man, really messing with your brother like that. Like, you know, like some of the, you know, some things be so. Now, after people pass, the, the moment be so cherishable, man. A lot of it I don't even want to share. That's how special it was. But the stuff I choose to share, like things people don't know, like just outside of the music, you know, it's like just every morning you we wake up. We take a shot of power my son in the morning. Like, people wouldn't even think, screw you, and drink alcohol. Right, you right, know what right, I'm yeah. saying? He wasn't no alcoholic, but I'm saying that was like a little ritual. Mm -hmm. We shot a power my son in the morning and just, um, you know, in Hart's Chicken, you know, um, he just showing us, like, everybody, like, it's always a motive. Like, you know, we in Hart's Chicken and we pull up. So, long story short, uh, it was some females in there, so he he go up there, you know, he getting the he getting whatever he getting. We placed the order sitting down, so he was like, when I go back up there, just call my name or something. So we like, huh? So he like, you know, he talks so low, you will miss it. I'm yeah. like, so he go back up there. Drew like, look how I screw ball, man, get some ketchup. So the girl like, hold up, cause he they couldn't see the piece. He had the piece covered yeah. up, you know what I'm saying? So long story short, they signed my dollar, whoop whoop, this, that, and the other. Cause when you hang around people like Rick and Contest, like when you're in the mix and you hang around people, you forget 
that they kind of stars to everybody else. Mm -hmm. You I know what I'm that. saying? But he wasn't. He was just showing us like I always know. You know, getting around people that's for the right reason. You know what I'm saying? Like once you get a certain level of status, it's hard to weed out who really there for real love. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing he always taught us, man. That you know, always keep your circle small and your money tall. You know, and and you know, don't even we. That's why I said I really ain't doing circles no more. I'm squaring things up because I need people in my corner. No. But that's you know, just grow, up, up. yeah, just Stay growing up. up with screw man. I ain't gonna lie, just to see the fat pass and the screws and all them. You know, he he got the experience there too. I'm a little older, so you know, like Pat, you know, that was like. A whole nother, it's Pat, Pat a movie by itself. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that whole movement, you know, just to be a part of that culture, not just witness it, is a difference. Like, you know, witnessing LeBron cool, but to be on the team, you get a ring. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So it just was cool to get that ring with that, with Screw, you know, Robert Earl Davis Jr. Like, that was my family. Like, you know, he gave us a lot of games. So I appreciate that.